and welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to take a look at how to scan for web shells on a web server so let's suppose you are running a web server and you are providing hosting to several different companies or different websites and let's say one of the uh, those websites get hacked and the attacker uploaded some web shells on your server uh, for later on access and you want to analyze your server in order to find any malicious uh, web shells that might give a give an attacker uh, access uh, remote access to your server even after the website has been restored so mostly these web uh, web shells are written in php and depending on the server that you are analyzing like if you are analyzing a IIS server then the web shell will be in ASPX if uh, PHP is not installed on the system and if uh, you are running a PHP server then the shells will be in PHP and same goes for Java server so that their shells will be in JSP format so a simple thing in order to find web shells is you can run a recursive search on your directories and uh, find uh, uh, the files that matches uh, that match a certain criteria let's say we uh, want to flag all the files that have a exec function or shell exec function in the PHP call or in case of uh, ASP file uh, ASP web shell there will be a eval or bind function so they both do a pretty much same uh, thing uh, they provide a reverse connection to the server for attacker so he can communicate to the server with, uh, if we want to in future so there are some regex uh, that you can write in a bash, bash script and then run that bash script in order to find all these different uh, web shells but there are different tools that are also written for uh, this purpose so what we are going to do is we are going to take a take a look at this uh, web, sh uh, web shell scanner which is written in go and if you take a look at its code you will see that what it is going to do is it is going to uh, see uh, use some regex and use that regex in order to find some uh, files in uh, in the system so if we go ahead and take a look at the regex uh, that are provided to this uh, this tool or that we can provide to this tool are different so over here you can specify different regexes uh, that might uh, be uh, available to you so if you go ahead and in types over here you will see different uh, file formats uh, that can be used And if you go ahead and win there are the executables and in the timestamp it will uh, add the timestamps for the files that were created like if there is a web shell it will tell you the date and time that that web shell was created on the server so over here you can see that we have uh, specified a custom regex so you can also do that to uh, specify a custom regex in order to find uh, the malicious files so let's uh, get into it so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to download this repository it contains all of the uh, different type of web shells that might be present on a server so it is just for demonstration purposes so let's get into it so I am going to clone this repository on my server and hit enter and now you can see there is a file of web uh, folder for web shells so what we need to do is uh, now is we need to we need to uh, clone this and build this uh, project on our system so that we can ex uh, compile it on our server and run it to find web shells so I am going to go ahead and git clone this also just to git clone and hit enter 
and just cd into web shell dash scan and over here we are going to build the main.go file so for that uh, we need to run this command because we are building it for a linux uh, system so we need to run this and hit enter and now it is going to build the main dot go file into a binary and if you go ahead and uh, list now you can see over here there is the executable web shell uh, web scanned underscore linux so if you run this it will give you a output of how you can use uh, this uh, this uh, program in order to scan so let's run this on our web shell directory that we just downloaded so just do web shells and now we need to specify the directory so do that with dash tir and we are going to do is home and over here web shells and just hit enter and now it is going to scan uh, that folder and over here you can see that it has already identified different web shells and it has also given you a timestamp of the last modified so i'm just going to stop this so we can take a look at the results so over here you can see that it gives you an output in a json format so it uh, gives you a path where the file is and the size of the file the md5 hash of the file that you can let on compare online then there is a timestamp so when the file was created and when it was last modified and when was it last accessed by some user so this is how you can uh, simply identify web shells uh, on a server and block any malicious uh, malicious access to your server Thanks for watching. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, do comment down below. Do subscribe to our channel and like this video and hit that bell icon to get the latest notification for our latest uh, uh, uploaded videos.